Sonia, and I'm here to give you some tips on how to develop your leadership style. Did you guys already experience to become a leader in school or in office? Do you think that your leadership is good enough to become a fully grown leader? So here's some of my tips on how to develop your leadership style. Check this out. Developing one's leadership style starts from the self-confidence. Self-confidence is an important thing to develop your leadership style. Having self-confidence is an advantage. It is like standing in front of many people without any feeling of shyness or hesitation. Or in Filipino word, or if you're going to translate it in Filipino, this being walang iya, but in a good way. Do not let shyness take you down. Self-confidence is so strong. Just be positive. Just be yourself, but in a positive way. Show to your followers that you're active enough to pursue that particular task. And also, remember this. Practice exposing yourself to public. Involve your team members or groupmates. Let your groupmates function, but of course including you. Involve them in the task so that they can impart some of their ideas and let them think on how to implement their ideas in reality. Have a role model. Admire people or person who is a great leader and try to work on it by yourself. Try to portray his or her leadership style. As for the negatives in you, ask your members for an evaluation. The purpose of this is for you to know what are the negative things that you possess as a leader. At first, of course, it will hurt you, but that's the reality. Always remember that you should work on it. Improve it. Improve yourself. It's like putting your shoes on their shoes or putting yourself onto their situation. Being open-minded. Be open-minded in a lot of ways. You should be open to constructive criticism by your team members and other team leaders as well. And that way, you will be able to know what you need to improve to yourself and to the way on how you lead people. Leaders should always know or should always open to the new ideas so that you will be an effective leader to your members. Congeniality. Congeniality is a being friendly type of person that can make your followers or colleagues feel that you're approachable. The charismatic way of belonging with them is a good impression. Gather energy, happiness, and simply pass it to others. Spreading knowledge. Spreading your idea on your members is a big help for them not to left behind or not to leave them questionable. Practice explaining on each details that you're going to discuss and even the updates. Updates should be always well contributed to your members. Be equal. Be fair to your followers is one way to be a good leader. You shouldn't be in favor of one member of the group just because you are fair with them. Being a leader is you should know on how to play fair and square. The downside of being biased to one member can cause a big problem. One of which member will form a small group within the group which defeats the purpose of attaining the common issue being. Dedication. Being a leader is not only a job or work that you need to do. It is a passion inside of you. You will never be a leader in just one day. It takes time and effort. A good leader is 
willing to spend time, effort, and energy to accomplish the task that they are handling. A good leader is focused on just one vision, which is to get things done. You, as a leader, should also set goals to your members so that the dedication to your work radiates to your members. Hence, the group will be productive and you will reach the goal that you have set for the team. First things first, prioritizing things according to its level of urgency. By doing high prioritized tasks before proceeding to the low prioritized tasks. The high prioritized task is the difficult one and the low prioritized task is the easy one. By this, you can be as organized as possible, even the things are getting better. Developing one's leadership style while you are still young is a big contribution and entry into the corporate world, not only in the industry but also in the everyday life of an individual. For me again my name is Ian Moronia and I hope you learned something from me. Thank you for watching. Bye!